reality show soon, don't you agree? Yeah. Uh, all right, action adventure fans are in for a treat. From the makers of Xena Warrior Princess and Hercules, the legendary journeys, comes the legend of the seeker. But don't expect a damsel in distress. Without magic, you would be deprived of your power to confess. The sword of truth would be merely a piece of steel. Magic has its uses, but sometimes it... keeps people apart. And we are very happy to uh, have Bridget Regan here with us. Good morning, Good morning. and welcome home. Yeah, thank you. We it were just talking. Charming. You know, I know that you, uh, you know, you shoot the series in New Zealand, and you're yeah. a New Yorker. So, what's been the hardest thing to uh, adjust to, not being in New York all the um, time? Well, I think you know, it's not getting whatever you want, whenever you want it. You can get Chinese food at 11 at night if you need it, or 3 a.m. for yeah. that matter. But. Um, I mean, it's so good to be back. I love New York. Um, it is kind of the opposite of New Zealand. You know, it's all this natural sort of um, untamed nature, whereas New York is like buildings and, you know, what man can do. And you all know, it's that. funny because I was just thinking, you know, all the people that need to calm down being in New York and have like the sound machines <laughs> with like the jungle. You, some, you, you know, maybe that would be a good idea is to get yeah. the sound machine just so the New York City noise you feel. Like I was worried home. I wasn't going to be able to sleep when I came back because I live on 7th Avenue and it's so loud. But sleep like a baby. Roxy to sleep, you know, subway shaking my apartment. Isn't that amazing how you just get, your body just gets used to certain yeah, things, right? Yeah. All right, so let's talk about your character. I mean, look, she's, uh, She's quite a, a strong woman. You could get anyone yeah. to confess the truth, which I know yes. in real life is hard for uh, you know to get people to do. So who would you uh, who would you pick if you needed to hear the truth from someone in particular? Well, the funny thing about the power is that it, when she touches someone, they like com become completely and totally in love with her and become like a little puppy dog and follow kind of like her. Real around. life, right? Oh, totally, just like <laughs> it. But um, the uh, the problem with it is then they're for the rest of your life they're following you around, waiting for you to tell them what to do. <laughs> so. I don't know who I would. So the, so the blessing becomes a burden in a yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. That's. I day. mean, that's that's one of the cool things about the show is that it's it's um it's more complex than it, than meets the eye. But there's got to be some like ex boyfriends from high school. <laughs> like, there's got to be like <laughs> someone like from the uh, you know from the past. You'd be like, why? Did I'd probably you? go political. You know, do something like that. Just sort of weasel my way and mm. you know. In that direction. So, are you a sporty girl? I know you're a Southern California girl as well. Yeah, so, do you yeah. do all all your own stunts, or do you let? Yeah, else do it I for actually, you? I um, I try to do as much as I can. Occasionally, they won't let me like jump out of a tree or roll down a hill. But um, I have an amazing stunt woman who does all that stuff for me, and she's um, totally fearless. But um, yeah, I do all of it. I, I love learning the fights. It's a real cool part of the job because it is. Um, it's almost like dancing because you know it's, got, it's really well choreographed and the stuntmen are amazing. So and it keeps you in shape. Oh yeah, it's such a physical right. show. So it it's is. all good. All right. So if you were to uh, tell the truth about about two certain people, we have uh, a few names that we want to throw okay. at you. Okay. So right. the first thing that comes to your mind, if you were to uh, tell the truth to, uh, oh, Brad, okay, what would you say besides it, uh, those abs? The truth are hot. is that he's hot. Yeah, that's what I would say. But that's I don't think he's truth. heard that before. <laughs> I know. All right. He next knows. next he knows. one, Madonna. Oh, Madonna. Hey, Mo. Looking good. That's what I would say. That's what you'd yeah. say? Okay, that's good. That's good. It's nice to know that she does have some people that are saying nice things about oh, her. Oh, right? She man, deserves some love, good. right? Yeah. Okay, last, your co-star, Craig Horner. Ah, Craigy! Look at him. <laughs> I'd say, yeah, Craig, you can work the shirtless vest look. You're one of the only guys that can, but you can. He is very yummy, huh? <laughs> he's great. Craig's so, awesome. So what's it like working with him? Well, he's, um... He's from Australia, so he's got this true, like, Aussie guy thing about him. But um, one of the best things about the show is when it started, he moved from Australia, I moved from the States, and so we were both um, really gave up our lives to just devote ourselves to the show, so we really didn't have any friends with him and each other. Aww, and you're so, still friends. Oh, we're great. We're peas and carrots. We get, Night we're, peas and carrots. Yeah, oh, yeah, peas we're good. and carrots. Yeah. I love that line. Well, thank you so much for coming oh, in. Thanks and for have fun me. for whatever little time you have left here before you have to leave again. I'll soak it up. And now uh, you'll take the New York noise with you when you leave, right? Yeah. Thanks <laughs> Cheers. Again. Thanks. You can catch Legend of the Seeker Saturday nights on eight at 8 right here on PIX. I love Bridget's beautiful. I love her hair. Did you Total see that?